Hello everybody, Rubble Games back here again in Wasteland 3, and today what we have is our shotgun leader build, including armor armor and armor mods, as well as weapon and weapon mods, to really kind of show you how this this build can shine. So what we have here, so uh, this is a little later game, um, we're a level 24, uh, but what we have done is gone through and created a pretty typical shotgun leader build. And I'll leave a link in the description down below for a video that kind of talks about that build. Um, the Critically Clueless have a really good video on that. So I'm not going to repeat that build here. I'm going to point you over to there and you can let them uh, describe that for you. But I just kind of want to show a little bit about what this build looks like. Um, so you can kind of see our attributes. We're at level 24. We've maxed out coordination, intelligence, and charisma. Strength is up there a little bit just to help with some con. And we're not really doing a whole lot whole lot with awareness speed and luck right now um, as we continue to go up in levels we might push into awareness a little bit but for the most part we're we're pretty much done on this build just it's just going to make it a little bit better as we go along skills wise you can see we've got leadership maxed out small arms is almost maxed out this is also doing animal whisperer a little bit of weird science that's for the chemtech although we're pushing up a little higher um, in the weird science space and then he's also our healer too but um Again, not doing too much in healer side. And you can kind of see our perks here. I'm not going to go into these. These are covered in the build. But I'll give you a quick scan so you can kind of see what we've taken. And you can pause the video and take a look at that if you want. So anyways, back to the armor and weapons. And then I'll show you what that looks like with the full stats. So we've gone with the Spectrum Assault Helmet, the Chemtech Chest, and the Chemtech Legs. So the chest and the legs are for that healing bonus that we get. Again, this, he works as a part-time healer for this, so that really helps out healing um, both ourselves as well as uh, other teammates. Um, on the chest, you get this built-in combat stim, really good for us to add a couple extra uh, action points as we go through, uh, you know, over the course of six turns, plus uh, plus 15% hit chance, which is really great for for uh, making that shotgun shine. So as far as mods go on the helmet, nothing really crazy on the mods for this particular build. Uh, so we're just doing a titanium crest for the Spectrum Assault uh, helmet, which is the plus one armor and crit resistance. Uh, on the chest piece, we're going just with the plus six armor trauma plate insert. So that's just gonna help boost this armor up a little bit. Again, this is not a, kind of a semi frontline person not a full frontline although he's got really good armor for being on frontline too uh, and then um on the chemtech legs uh exony for the little bit more combat speed and plus one armor some of the better combat speed mods are going on some of the other characters which we'll show in another video and of course because he's a medic we give him a little plus one first aid that's his lowest stat right now and it's nice to kind of help that out from a weapon standpoint uh we've got a jackhammer as well as the man cannon so we'll go into both of these things. The jackhammer, that's the primary one. And the way we have this built out, uh, we've got the 38 millimeter magnifying scope. This gives us the plus six range. We got the under barrel wide spectrum light for a plus 10 hit percent, plus 10% hit chance, sorry. And uh, a negative 0.1 X crit damage. So we're gonna bring the crit damage down just a hair to get that extra plus 10% hit chance. Magazine, this is really what turns this shotgun into a beast. Uh, negative one attack power, or I'm sorry, a negative one AP to attack gives us a two AP action points for uh, for firing this weapon. So instead of three. And so with the 10 action points this character starts with, that gives us five shots per round. So if we're in range of somebody uh, or a group of somebody's, this thing is going to wipe them out. And if it can't do it in five shots, it's not doing it at all. Uh, so then, so, and then the last piece on this one is the ragged choke. So this thing gives a plus 30 cone angle with a negative three meter range. So the scope is still extending that range out by three meters instead of, instead of the full six, because we got the negative three on this choke. Uh, but the cone angle being plus 30 means that if there's anything in front of this guy, it's going to get hit. And so really good there. And then it's your standard 25% crit chance with a 2.75 crit damage. So we're going to be bringing the crit damage down just a, just a smidge. But we're going to get that extra range. So this thing has the range of essentially an assault rifle. and uh, But with a super, super wide cone angle. 
So really, really good for clearing out big swaths of folks in there. And again, since this is a leader build, every time we get a multi-kill, then we're going to bump up the crit damage of... Um, I think, is that right? I just want to make sure I have that right here. On the leadership here, yeah. So on a multi-kill, we're going to bump up the crit damage on all of our allies. And then we're also on a boss kill, we're going to bump up the damage by 25% for all of our allies too. So that's really big. This guy's going to get out there and hit all that. So now, what does that look like from a stats perspective? Okay, so... Uh, we get that plus 150% healing bonus. That's coming from the Chemtech. So that's really, really great. So if we go around and heal somebody or we heal ourselves, we're, we're getting a massive healing bonus there. Uh, with everything we got going on, with coordination, everything like that, this, he's sitting at 10 action points. That's good. Hit chance, 121%. So really good chance to hit people even when they're in cover or evasive. Uh, crit chance is, ends up at being at 42%. So about 50% of our shots are going to be critting. With a, with a crit damage of 2.1x. And then we have a 2 penetration, uh, sneak damage. This guy's not doing any sneak stuff. And then, of course, we've got, um, from an armor standpoint, we're sitting at 42. So with our armor mods, uh, plus 6% evasion and crit resistance. We're not doing anything on um, our other fire, cold energy, and explosive resists. We have a blanket 35%, um, and then we're good from there. And then uh, range damage 106. So again, not too much done here although we do have some bonuses that we're picking up um, across fire and cold and energy uh, and that is pretty much it combat speed about 1.8 that's really good so he's very mobile and then his leadership range is 24 meters and with 30 percent experience bonus so so that is the build and like i said the the idea here first thing you do is you go out with this guy and you rally you give everyone else plus two action points and then go out and try and get those multi-kills and to, to help bump up. So it's kind of more of a support character, but he does end up doing a little bit of damage. So hope you like this video. Hope you like the, the build. If you did, please leave a like down below. Feel free to make a comment and let me know what you think of this build. Is this something you've done as well? Do you, would, you, would you tweak it? How would you do it differently? What different mods would you put on your armor and weapons? Uh, and uh, yeah, so, so let me know down in the comments what you think about that. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, and you'll get notified when I release new videos. Until then, I will see you all later. Good.